Cyclone Damien continues to intensify as it approaches the Western Australia coastline this morning. Now with winds of 110 miles per hour, it makes it almost a major hurricane on the Saffir Simpson scale, and a pressure of 958 millibars as of 7 o'clock this morning on the west coast of Australia. Right now, the CDPS scale looks at Dampier as its possible landfall point just in a few hours. Stage 5 on the CDPS scale, scale there, where extensive damage is possible, as rainfall is the main threat from this system, as it is quite a large system. Right now, it is located at, at 19.5 degrees south, 116.6 degrees east. The storm is moving southward at around 8 miles per hour currently. Right now, the storm is located 54 miles from Karatha, 99 miles from Burrow Island, 102 from Port Hedland, and 161 from Exmouth, with all those on the west coast of Australia. The storm should make landfall in around 10 hours from now, as shown in this forecast, probably as a major hurricane on the Safford Simpson scale, with winds of 120 miles per hour when it does so, and then it will gradually weaken inland. Weakening as it moves inland could be slow potentially due to the brown ocean effect but the dissipation is roughly expected in around 72 hours from now this is how sea surface temperatures are looking for the storm really they are favorable for additional intensification leading up to landfall but once it gets inland sea surface temperatures are really irrelevant so really sea surface temperatures are only going to matter for the storm for the next few hours as it has time over water these are the percent chances of tropical storm force winds almost guaranteed at Dampier and Karatha, 80% at Panawanica, and 76% at Wickham, which wants to go with those all being on the west coast of Australia once again. These are how the models are looking at the moment. HWRF has been going out on a limb and calling for a major cyclone. It's probably going to be right with that. Wind shear is forecast to remain pretty moderate up until landfall. Sea surface temperatures are only going to matter for a few more hours. And relative humidity is pretty fair for this storm, so identification is on the way. This is how the storm has been looking in the past few hours. It's been struggling to clear out its eye for a majority of the day. It went under sort of an eye replacement cycle of the sorts throughout the day today as it intensified to Category 2 intensity. But the cloud tops are strengthening this storm is intensifying as it approaches the coastline. We are live streaming this storm up until landfall right now on our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash force 13 forward slash live.